After taking a beating, the Seattle housing market is showing signs of stabilizing and possibly even avoiding further price declines. In today's video, we're going to be looking at what was behind the recent activity in the Seattle market, as well as what the recent data suggests could be coming in the months ahead. Let's get into it. The recent strength we've seen in the Seattle housing market is likely the result of a perfect storm of factors that bolstered demand as well as a tightening supply. First, mortgage rates had been in a downtrend or holding steady most of the first half of 2023. There is some evidence that homebuyer psychology is changing and people are getting used to higher mortgage rates. So when rates were lower in the first half of 2023, we saw more people getting into the market to buy. But it was more than just mortgage rates that likely led to the stronger demand this year. Seattle is home to one of the largest technology hubs outside of the San Francisco Bay Area, with both headquarters quarters of Amazon and Microsoft in the area. When we look at the stock prices of these companies and for the tech heavy NASDAQ index overall, we see that at the same time that mortgage rates were declining or holding steady at new lower levels, tech stocks were rebounding from a downtrend seen in most of 2022. This would have boosted equity for many tech workers that get stock as part of their compensation, giving housing demand a boost for those who had been and waiting on the sidelines for a better deal on a home purchase. Let's look at what all this did to the median home price. As of June 2023, the latest data available from Redfin, a national real estate brokerage, the seasonally adjusted median home price in Seattle came in at just over $766,000, which was down 6.4% from its peak of about $818,000 in April of 2022. But what is noticeable here is that prices have actually risen 4.3% from the low point back in March 2023. When we look at the underlying supply demand statistics, we see further evidence of the perfect storm that has taken place in the first half of 2023. The sale to list price ratio, one of my favorite metrics to look at to gauge the intensity of housing demand, was 99.7 in June, up from the recent low point of 98.3 in January. This increase in the intensity of demand lines up perfectly with the lower mortgage rates and rising stock prices I showed earlier. Over that time period, we also saw the average days uh, home stays on the market decline sharply from 24.5 in January to 11.5 in June. There was further upward pressure to home prices on the supply side of the market as well. This month's supply of homes, which measures how fast the market inventory would be existed, exhausted at the current pace of sales, has also been in a steady downtrend for the first half of 2023. We're not seeing evidence of an increase in supply in the near term either. New listings have maintained their downtrend they've been in for the last few years. So that's the perfect storm we've seen in the Seattle housing market so far this year. Lower mortgage rates and rising tech stock prices provided a jolt to demand and supplies at the lowest point in more than a year. All of this has put upward pressure on the median home price, which has risen 4.3% from recent lows. The next question is whether or not this is the start of a new leg up for the Seattle housing market or if it was a temporary set of factors that is not likely to continue boosting demand as it has in the first half of the year. The first thing to look at is what led to the price declines in the first place, and that was the surge in mortgage rates in 2022 as a result of the Federal Reserve raising their Fed funds rate to combat inflation. That surge pushed many home buyers out of the market as the average home was just becoming too unaffordable. You can see it here in this chart measuring affordability in the Seattle metro area. As of June, the average housing payment as a share of median household income was 54.5%. And while that is down from the recent peak of 57.2% back in October, it is well above the longer and average of 36% over the last 20 years. The affordability problem is why I don't think we're going to see the recent uptick in prices as the start of a new trend. The market is just too out of balance for that to be the case. As for mortgage rates, the downtrend in the beginning of the year 
has proven to be short-lived as mortgage rates have begun rising again. And with the Federal Reserve raising interest rates at their latest meeting in July and signaling they have no intention of lowering rates in the near future, I wouldn't look to mortgage rates falling more to boost demand anytime soon. So we don't have a great case for prices to continue rising in the short term. However, with supply tightening again, it should keep prices from falling too much more. What we have is a very unique set of circumstances that most housing markets haven't faced before. All things considered, I think we're more likely to see the median home price for the Seattle area trending sideways or down a bit in the near term. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up to support the channel and help it grow. And if you want to see more forward looking real estate, on real estate analysis, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell down below so you know right, right away when my next video comes out. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.